Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty darn good one. So today, we're going to be talking about slimes, y'all. Going to get all slimy and, and, and might even see slimer somewhere around here. I kind of doubt it, but we might. <laughs> but I've been trying to track slime chunk, or a, well, a slime chunk is exactly what it's called, for some time now. And I, I, I know where two or I found. The problem is, is one of them I can't seem to confirm the edges of. Is that a... Ooh. That's a zombie villager. We're going to trap that. Uh, and uh, while we're talking, we will trap them real quick. Um, huh, where are we going to trap you at? Come here. I I'm placing blocks where I don't want them. Ow. You hit hard. Oh, that's awesome. He picked up a lot. That wasn't really important. Are you going to just like keep chasing me around in circles? <laughs> it's okay. You're not doing no real damage to me. Ah, we had him. We had him. Hmm. Okay, well, you know what? You just... Hmm. Huh. I don't know what to do with him. <laughs> I'd like to cure him. But at the same time, we're not... This is not what we're doing today. You, you're making things difficult, dude. Here, come down here. Come on. Come on down. There you go. You just chill down here. We'll come back for you another time since you got a block. You shouldn't go nowhere, hopefully. But anyway, as I was saying, we are looking for uh, slimes today. And uh, I've managed to track down two slime chunks over time. And I can't confirm what one of them is, which is this one right here. Uh, slime spawn somewhere in here. We're going to be using the... Um, F3G, I think. Yeah, okay. F3G to do this today. And F3. Did, did I just say a villager? Be weird if the wandering tradesman's down here. Anyways, but somewhere in one right here is a slime chunk. And I've been trying to track it down. Well, I finally gave up. And I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to go to chunk base, which is we talked about last time. And I'm going to see if I can uh, identify what, you know, this chunk. Well, while I was there, I verified another chunk that I had found that I have confirmed as a slime chunk. Uh, I've actually used it to get slimes many a times in a very basic slime farm that I set up, which is not really a farm. It's just more of clearing out a three-level high chunk, which we'll go look at real quick. And uh, while I was there, though, I discovered right next to that, the chunk we're heading to right now, was two chunks side by side. And I kind of I hate to use that type of resource, you know, to... I kind of feel cheaty doing it, but I mean, it, it's it's not really, you know. But this is the one I've been using to get slimes from. That and inside the corridor, what I've been mining down there, I find them all the time. But slimes spawn right in here all the time. And this is all it is. I've just there so often, I come in here and I... I you know, as I go back and forth, I'll, I'll have a slime in here. But, as I said, when I was looking at uh, Chunk Base... Right over here, uh, yeah, right over here, I think we're in it right now. I discovered that this chunk right here that we're standing in and this chunk right here were both slime chunks. That's two chunks side by side. Now, if they weren't side by side, I'd ignore it, but that's super handy. Um, we can build a serious slime farm here. And I already have more slime than I'm going to need, so <laughs> this is going to produce a lot of slime. Now, the thing is, is part of this chunk right here is, in fact, inside of a, um, a cavern, which means it's going to take a lot of work to fill it in. But that's okay, because we're going to be doing a lot of work to clean it out. And um, I kind of lost my train of thought there. Uh, <laughs> so basically, what we're going to be doing is we start at level um 
I think it's 39 uh, level or 40 actually. Well, it's 39 or 40 down, which if you see there on our, our XYZ, uh, the center coordinate, the Y, is the up and down. So like if I go up, it goes up and comes down. So basically anywhere below right here to bedrock. Uh, now that's there's a little caveat there. Will not spawn on bedrock. So a little bit above bedrock. Uh, so basically anything down here below can spawn ch uh, slimes if you're inside of a slime chunk. Now you can also get slimes inside of a uh, swamp. But this is super effective, y'all. And uh, we're going to look at a, a really simple design to do this. And basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be clearing out those two chunks side by side into an area just like this. Uh, now, you can light it up to keep things from spawning. The only thing is, is I've been t told that torches on the ground will block spawn. Um, which I don't know if it's true or not. I've seen pictures of people with the spawns, slime farms with them in it. So I don't know. Um, I'm a little confused on that, 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 but I was told we could use redstone lamps and that wouldn't matter. Um, glowstone supposedly will, and so will uh, torches on the ground. So I'm going to try to make it as limited as possible, but we're going to probably end up getting a little bit of mobs in here. Now, like I said, if you hit F3 and uh, G, it shows your borders here. So basically, from this corner, 16 blocks that way, and then... 16 plus 16 that way because the chunk there's two chunks side by side here We need to clear out everything down and I'm only going to do a few levels. Um This is gonna be a lot of work This is something I'm gonna work on over time and because that's I don't need it honestly But I wanted to do it because I know it's something uh, That's useful, you know, like some people really need a lot of slime. Wow into a tunnel already uh this is this place is riddled with caves, y'all. Y'all have no idea. Underneath my base that I built is all kinds of caves. Like it's a little crazy. Uh, but anyways, I figured you know we'd do this, and I mean it's it, it's it's a good fun thing to do. It's it's one of them it's one of them projects you know you kind of do and learn. And huh, we're going to wall this up just like so. We'll do this as we go. That way it saves time. We don't have to come back and do it later. Now, I do need to work on... Hmm. We may have to dig down. Now, I'm only going to go down to, I think, level 12. Uh, because I don't want to hit the lava. I'd rather not deal with massive amounts of lava. Just to be completely honest. And I believe it's level 12 or 15 that lava uh, proceeds to spawn at. So it may be best for me to head down and then dig up. I'm thinking that might be the best bet. But basically, you're going to need... Uh, now that we've got, I've got my iron farm, which I fixed my iron farm. We're going to be looking at that, uh, my workaround and my solution. We're going to need tons and tons of iron because you're going to need iron blocks. Uh, you're going to need pumpkins, maybe some shears. I need to double check on the actual requirements. Uh, you're going to need some sticks, some logs. And basically, I think that's it besides your digging implements to dig said cave. Um, Try to think here. Is there anything else we need? I don't think so. Tons and tons of cobblestone or whatever building material. I would just use cobblestone because it's this is not this does not need to be pretty. You can make it pretty if that's your thing. But basically, you know, you're just building boxes. And we don't... Why am I filling that in? I need to fill it in the outside of it. Duh. Like so. I'm doing the wrong thing. Totally the wrong thing. I'm going to need more cobblestone because I messed it up. It's okay. I got tons of it. We got tons of it. It's, it's There's tons of it. Yeah. I got tons. I can't... Holes. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Let's place another torch here. Do, do, do. All right. I'm going to dig this out. And then we're going to get our bases set up, and we're going. To, I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to do this. Check it out, y'all. We found a slime. 
Apparently there's no slime chunk I didn't know about. <laughs> Let's get these dudes down to smaller, quicker, easier to manageable side. Those two. That one. <laughs> Whatever. We'll take care of units here. That's what we're looking for right there. See, this is one of the reasons why I have not needed a slime farm until now. It's because I, I honestly, I just, there apparently I've got slime chunks everywhere. <laughs> I've had no problem whatsoever finding slimes. Like, none. <laughs> Matter of fact, I honestly really don't need to build one of these. I'm going to be completely honest with that. 26 slime. Yeah. Yep. Having that much fun. I mean, heck, if we go over here, we might find another one. Oh, there's a hole. That one, I didn't know there was a slime chunk there. I'd say I hadn't found that one. See, this is how you find them. You look for slime spawning. Well, clearly there was one there. Now, I know there's one here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Almost got shot in the butt. I know there's one there, though. I find them there all the time. But I didn't know about that one. I'm going to have a problem with slime spawning inside my work area when I finally dig all this out. All right, I just wanted to cheer that we found one. <laughs> we'll be back. Check it out, y'all. We already got slime spawning up in here. I was mining out and I started hearing it. And that's one of the ways, uh, when you're finding these naturally, you listen for them and hear this sound. Well, they don't make it so loud. The big ones make a splish, 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 splish sounds. And you can listen for that. And, uh, that's how one of the ways you'll find them. This is very handy to be able to do that. Let me put a light there. Real quick while we're we're here together, real quick, I'm gonna show y'all. So I've got this entire level here dug out, and uh I want y'all to know this is not a fast task. Um like really not a fast task. I'm gonna show y'all something. Check out some of the treasure I have found while we've been doing this. Twenty nine diamonds. I'm pretty excited. But uh just want to bring y'all back, let y'all see. Yep, we got slime bouncing. I'm pretty sure I've got the right chunks. Uh, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Looks like it. So, yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to go back to digging. And uh, we'll come back here in just a little bit and get this set up. Oh, listen, we've got another slime squishing. It's going to be... Uh, uh, could we have another slime chunk nearby? I don't know. We'll find it in a little bit. Okay, y'all. Let's look at this real quick. Let's go over how exactly we're doing this, okay? So we've got our three tall single chunk cut out here. And of course, I've got my second one cut out. Now, on the corners here, you're going to clear out a 3x3 three three block going to the level below. And then you're also going to clear out a 3x3 three three block uh, on the corner here. Now, if you've got to do... <clears throat> well, I fell again. I've been doing that over and over and over again, y'all. <laughs> now, if you've got a 2x2 uh, two two like I have, the best way to do this, which I didn't think about afterwards, would be to put the 3x3 three three here somewhere. Kind of off-centered, but this works on the ends a lot better, I think. And the reason why we're doing this is, we're, as you can see, i got a golem up there, and we're going to put golems inside here. Now, there is a trick to build these golems, and we're going to make one real quick. Uh, that is... A, Iron block. I need to make more iron blocks. Uh, let's see. We need. Dude, dude, dude. I'm going to need three for each one. And I've got. You know what? Let's just make. So, what? Six. Uh, do, 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 do. do. Alright, so that's three for each one, right? All right, so now if you got pumpkins, don't forget to put the pumpkins with the shears to make the jack o' lantern. Now, this is when you make these guys, they need an air block all the way around them, except for the head. So you're going to put this in the center, and I'm going to try not to fall here. You're going to put that in the center, boom. And you can actually put the pumpkin on top of this guy and then shear it if you want to do it that way. And as soon as I drop this, bam. Now, quick. I want to come out and I want to put down block, push him back, push him back, block, block. And then I'm going to seal that off because, you know, we don't need it. That was just so I could get in and out easier. And the reason why I've got this hole here 
is so that his line of sight can see any uh, slimes that may spawn here on the corners. Now let's do this one real quick. Boom. Oh, did I come up? I can't. How did I come up one short? It's because they take four a piece and not three. Duh. It's okay. That's okay. We got a bunch of stuff more to make anyway. <laughs> I uh, underestimated my resource count on accident. And I forgot that I needed hoppers. So let's run over here. Let's make this guy real fast. Do, 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 do. Okay. And up, boop. And let's get our blocks out to trap him in there. Nope, back up. Okay, now he's trapped. I want to try to want to leave that one open. Now, so basically what's going to happen is the slime's going to be like, oh, golem, splash, 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 drop. And it's going to fall down in that hole down there. Now we need to make up a whole bunch of hoppers. Oh, nope, don't climb. So let's do this. Take a whole bunch of that. We don't need all of it. Let's take a bunch. What? 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 Stop, stop. Ah! Okay, so. Do, 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 do. Uh, we're going to need, let's see, four, six hoppers, I think. Yeah. So we got six chests. Bam. Now we're going to go hopper. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Bam. And then we're going to need to make two more chests as our collecting. Doot. And doot. Worked out perfect. Now we're going to go down here. Okay, so real quick before we go again. Three tall inside your chunk. Three big hole. Down, okay? Now, we're going to go down. All the way down to another three by three or three tall on our chunk right but this one we're going to be doing a little bit different because this is going to be our collection path so we're actually going to come down this is our floor layer, right we're going to come down one two three and then we're going to drop down one more layer now since i've got a double spawn here i've put down one two three four five six seven stone now that number is actually very important and the reason that is is when i do this as you can see it stops right there now i've already went ahead and made up an infinite water source up here i should have made it down here but uh i was making it with my my crafting area so that's okay let's grab that and we're gonna come back down run quick 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 double time double time Ugh. Uh, uh. And we're going to put one in each corner. Now we could probably get away with putting it in all three, but it should automatically do its thing. And the water should stop right there. Perfect. Now I'm going to put this block back. The reason this is here is to keep spawn the slimes from bouncing over here where we're at. And that's just, I just, you know, done that to make it simpler for me. Now we're going to go down again. And we're going to repeat the process on this side. Like so. And I'm going to jump across real fast. And swim for it, swim for it. No, no, oh, come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Reason is, is I want that water right there. All right. Uh, let's, we're going to fall in the hole. We're going to fall in the hole. We're going to fall in the hole. And we fell in the hole. Can't run. Okay. <laughs> And we're going to put that one there. Now, any slimes that fall down here are going to get funneled to the here. Now, now we're going to put down our hoppers, but we've got one more item we're going to need before we're done with this part of it. And uh, I will show you that here in just a second. So we're going to put our chest first to make this a little bit simpler. Dude. All right. And now we're going to take our hoppers, crouch, click, click. Keep crouching, and we're going to crouch back up with the while still crouching. That way these all point into here. Now we need one more item, and this is this is going to be the kicker here, y'all. We're going to need campfires, and the reason is, is, uh, I think we're good. Um, the reason why we need campfires you want to just take it off, is because 
the campfire will burn. I need... What do I need? Uh, I need just regular wood, and I just totally used up all my regular wood. Well, I guess I'm going to go get some regular wood. Okay, so campfire. Boop. We're going to need four of these. Actually... Let's make two more because I'm no, we don't need that many. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because I can't remember exactly how many I'm gonna need. I made the extra just in case. Alright, and the reason why we're using these is things can fall on them and they do not burn. Um yeah, okay, so crouch, place. Now we're going to want to seal this off so that nothing no, that is not what we wanted. What? That would catch on fire and that would be all over and we'd have slimes bouncing around everywhere. Okay, so... Yeah, there we go. Now this, you can seal this off. Uh, I'd probably actually recommend it. I'm leaving it open mostly so that I can see. That way, if, you know, I can tell if something's stuck here. But, uh, look at that smoke piling up. Basically, we're gonna, I'm going to show you all what's going to happen. I'm going to throw this. It's going to fall down there. And as you can see, it did not burn. They will not. Or okay, if I can. Yeah. And once again, ta-da! So the campfires do not burn items, which is nice. They're not like a fire, like on neither stone. So you can use them. The slimes will drop. They'll hit here. They'll roll all the way in, and uh, they will fall. On the fire and then we just click now let's go over our our size one last time three tall fill the chunk you're going to build a three by three box start the golem in the center chunk then place the blocks to block the cholum the golem in uh, i don't think he can get over that i'm pretty sure that's all we need to keep him in there i've got him up there let's look upstairs as well now this is our last bit that we're gonna you're gonna need. You're going to need to go an AFK somewhere as a way. Now I'm I'm pretty sure this is 25 blocks. So wall one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Okay. And basically, we're just gonna stand here. And you're just gonna wait and wait. And we're going to turn this off because we don't really need it taking up all the extra screen space. And we're just going to stand here and wait. Because nothing can spawn within 25 blocks of you. Now, nothing can spawn 128 blocks away from you. So, you're going to have to do a little balancing act here on your distances. But basically, you're just going to stand and wait. And hope. Because <laughs> slimes will spawn. But it also matters around your your thing you're going to need a huge amount of torches to go through and basically fill everywhere in i've still got a lot of work to do but this is how the farm works so i'm going to stand here for just a little bit and we're going to see how it works and then we will see you know how many slimes we collect i say in what 20 minutes we'll be back all right y'all so let's check this out Doot. and we have Wow, that's not bad. So 64 and 53 slime balls, a dirt block. I don't know where that come from. Two flesh and a string. Not bad. Well, there we go. I'd like to... I tried to catch uh, a slime, but it was just it's one of those, you know, it's kind of difficult. I hear something. Might be a slime. Shouldn't be. It's lava. I'm going to have to really hunt out the zombies. Uh... This, I've actually sat here for about an hour. Well, up inside there. Uh, ended up flooding my tunnel too, which gave me something to do while I was just sitting there. But that is it. I hope y'all enjoyed today. I hope y'all learned something. We've got a hole. I don't know where that must, must have had an... Uh. Ooh, that's... That, why did that, that actually like scared me. Wow. Okay, I'll have to fill that in. Anyways. I hope y'all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, smack that thumbs up button. Comment below. Let me know what you thought. If you have any questions, suggest your tips. If there's anything you want to see, if you just want to say hi, 
share this if you would tell this find easier helps me out helps them out and it's an amazing thing to do and remember y'all stay safe have fun <laughs> game on